Rallying for change, some Niles High School students protest because of what happened during a rally over masks. Some of those students say they were the targets of racial slurs and obscene gestures. And they tell our Evelyn Holmes that this is not the first time that they've had to fight for equality. Students of color at Niles West High School, along with some of their classmates, staged a walkout today in protest. Who school? Our school! After they claim a group of about two dozen student anti-mask protesters at the suburban school hurled racial slurs, including the N-word, at black and brown students and staff during a demonstration last week on Thursday. 15-year-old sophomore Nadia Ahmad was one of the students targeted. They were saying the N-word. They were flicking us off. I don't know why they felt that was necessary. It's unclear if anyone accused of instigating the incident was ever disciplined by the school. Why does it take the publication of discrimination that we are experiencing every single day for our school to finally acknowledge our pain? The afternoon student-led walkout at the North Suburban High School was organized with the support of the Evanston North Shore chapter of the NAACP. There's not a denial by the administration. There's not a denial by the principals that this took place. Organizers say the verbal attack also included the perpetrators making monkey sounds. This is not the first time parents and students have expressed concerns about alleged racial discrimination in the school district. We had teachers talking about how there's an anti-blackness problem in District 219. So we're going to keep showing up. According to recent data, black and Latino students make up less than 20% of the district's population. In an email statement, a spokesperson for Niles Township High School District 219 writes, we are saddened and furious that our students live in a world where racial incidents occur and our schools are not immune. I should not have to come to school every day ready to defend myself verbally or physically from racial attacks. I should be able to get my education that I have worked for and to be able to be a teenager. The student activists say this is just the beginning. They say there are more walkouts and more protests planned as they continue to push for change. Reporting from North Suburban Skokie, Evelyn Holmes, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.